Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'm going to share some exciting news. Well, it's official. There is going to be a second location in Toronto where you can find my product. Earlier in the year and throughout some of my videos, I have alluded that the current store that carries my product has opened up a second location. And as of October 1st, I will be displaying in that location as well. Now, I haven't been there. So wait and stay tuned for my future videos and our social media posts to get more details. As such, there will be minor changes to my overall display. And by overall display, here are the three things that will change. Number one is the look and feel. This is what I currently have. It is a multi-tier, multi-level display. And based on feedback, I'm going to move to something simpler. I'm going to move to a single level live edge board. Now, in this case, I'm going to have to fix that little crack at uh, the end of the board. I'm going to have to make a butterfly to prevent it from further splitting. And maybe I'm also going to uh, fill it with resin and a color just to give that little bit of an extra artsy look to it. Uh, but the butterfly is the most important. Now, I'm not promising anything, but I might think of doing that butterfly using the CNC, so maybe there's going to be a video. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the display. So it is going to be a single level live edge board, and all the writing instruments will be on top of it. Well, obviously they're not going to be on top just like that, I'm going to have to rely on my previous ingenuity. And the previous ingenuity revolves around the display stands that I currently use in my location in Waterloo. And let me grab the gimbal for a better look. Now these are perfect because they fit any pen and they also tilt the product a little bit. And let's take a panning photo to just to see how it all looks and feels. You can see the tilt in the writing instrument and basically it does offer a good visual representation of the pen. Now, of course, I'm going to have to make some small changes and let's see what those changes are. So here they are, the original ones are black in color and the new ones are white. And let's do a more thorough side-by-side -side comparison. This is the front piece, it looks exactly the same until you turn it over. And you can see that little hole, and that little hole is going to be used to attach it to the board and prevent it from moving around. The biggest difference is the back. And these are the back pieces. As we can see, the new ones are much chunkier, have a different shape to both curves, and there is that additional uh, attachment hole at the bottom. The biggest reason for the change in shape is stability. The original ones are printed with a much larger radius, and every writing instrument is supported on a single point of contact, as we can see right here. And that leads to a lot of wobble. Under the new version, every writing instrument is supported on both sides and all those minor wobbles are completely eliminated. Now let's take a look at this footage that is taken at my Waterloo location for a side-by-side -side comparison during actual action. In my Waterloo location, all my writing instruments are in specific cabinets and I open and close a drawer in order to give them to a customer. Uh, so all this opening and closing causes that little tremor which causes the clip to turn and face a different direction. And as we can see with the brand new ones, uh, the pen is supported on both sides and the clip still remains unchanged. And the last thing I'm going to change are my price tags. The new ones are going to be much more concise. They're going to have the pen option, whether it's ballpoint, fountain pen, or a roller bow. The name of the wood and the origin of the wood, of course, the price. And at the back, you're going to get all my contact information. So the QR code to my website, uh, my email address, 
and of course all the social media where you can search for my company name and follow me. The price tag is going to be underneath the writing instrument and we can see it right here in action. Of course I'm gonna make minor changes to the length of it so it doesn't uh, bend but it's more of a straight line but the biggest feature of the price tag is that you can bend along the perforated line and ultimately remove the price. And I'm doing this with one hand, so hopefully I can do it. Yes, there it is. And that way the recipient can still get the information about the pen and the wood and my contact information, but not know anything about the price of it. And those are all the changes that I'm gonna be implementing for the Toronto store and slowly propagate them to my location here in Waterloo. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.